Hey, this is Chris from Jamplay.com, and we have a really cool turnaround here for you that uh, focuses on kind of turning the whole blues progression around. And getting a couple of these in your repertoire, more than a couple, getting quite a few in your repertoire is really going to help you in your blues playing and really driving home some of the solos that you, uh, that you create while playing the blues. This one is, is pretty basic. Starts here on the, the uh, seventh fret, E. You're walking down sort of the blues scale here. D. A little chromatic there. Ending on the B note. Seven, five, four, three, two. Once you get to the two, you hit the power chord, kind of arpeggiated. And we're incorporating the same, some of the same techniques we've learned in earlier licks. Staccato. And then we're doing a, just a scratch pick or a, you know. And the coolest part of the lick, after we hit this chord. Sliding all the way up. We're doing a B augmented chord. So a standard B chord would be root, third, fifth. An augmented chord has a sharp five, a G note. So augmented chords are cool in blues when played on the five chord because the five chord uh, well, in this case is, is B, we're playing the sharp five of B is a G, which is the flat third or minor third of E, your one. So again, it's that, that major minor third, that's where that augmented works out. So we play the power chord here. And then back to the one. So if you're going to play an augmented chord, they, they work in other places too, but they, you know, they especially work well when you're dealing with that major minor third thing, playing a five chord augmented when going back to the one. Sounds pretty cool. So let me play the whole lick for you uh, a few more times, then we'll play it with the track. Arpeggiating. All with the pick. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Let's hear it again with the track. 